Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you something about calculating the surface areas of basic 3D shapes. Now these are some very basic 3D shapes. You've got a cube, a rectangular prism, a pyramid, but this is a very strange shape. I just illustrated with two different shapes, which is a square and a pentangle. And if you look at a modern football, you'll find that the surface is actually covered by these. So you might try and estimate the area of those two. But what is very easy, first of all, such a shape as a pyramid. A pyramid consists of, in this case a, four, uh, a square pyramid, consists of five surfaces. One, two at the back, three on this side, four, and the base, five. Here we have four triangles and one rectangle. The triangles, we use the formula half the base times the height, the perpendicular height, and the rectangle length times width. So then we can work out the surface area by working out the individual areas, adding them together. A cube is very simple because a cube is always the same dimension. So it has six sides. Each is L times L, which is L squared. I can work out, therefore, the size, the area of one side, and then multiply by six, I'll get the surface area. With a rectangular prism like this one, I have two ends. I have two sides. And I have two other sides of a different size. So I do it in six sections. This and the one at the back I can't see. This and the one on the left I can't see. The top and the bottom. Determining each of these, each of these is length times width and add them together. So here I first of all count the surfaces, secondly I measure and calculate each area, and then thirdly I add the areas together. As football is an example where the, they are not the same, I need to count the number of pentangles, I need to count the number of squares, I need to calculate the area of the squares, the, area of the pentangle, to calculate the area of a pentangle of course, I turn it into triangles, so I can work out three triangles, right, add them together, the square, and then from the numbers, multiplied by the areas, I can work out the surface area of quite a complex shape of football. So this is simple, the working out of the surface areas of some of the more simple, basic 3D shapes.